What's up achievers, Lauren Pack here, and today I'm gonna to walk you through one of our favorite squat variations, the goblet squat. love the goblet squat is it's just a really easy way to get into a good squat position and to help someone get into a good squat position if they've never really done it before. Oftentimes if you move too quickly onto a really advanced squat variation like a barbell front squat or a barbell back squat, you end up having to try to work around a lot of movement compensations that you haven't mastered quite yet. And instead of trying to use all these different cues and all these different methods for how to fix your back squat, we love to actually take a step back and start with something like the goblet squat. When we first start teaching the goblet squat, we like to teach it to a box. And the reason we like to do that is because oftentimes when people start to squat, they forget to hinge their hips back. They think just about going down and letting their knees go forward. And so we like to actually put a box behind the individual doing the squat to cue them to actually sit their hips back as they descend into the squat. Now, since everyone's a little bit different in terms of their height and their limb length and their mobility, we wanna try to adjust the height so that it fits the person who's performing the squat. So for instance, somebody might have a really easy time going all the way down to a below parallel squat, and so that's where we wanna put the box. But if you notice that they start to tuck their hips under, or they're just having a hard time getting down that low, they're starting to compensate in different ways, we wanna think about elevating that height. So adding an Airx pad like we have here, or adding a plate to that box, just making sure that we're putting them in a position to succeed, not trying to force them to go lower than they really can. Once you've found a good height, we wanna talk about foot position. So we wanna think about having your feet in anywhere from a straight forward position to about 45 degrees angled out. And this is gonna be different for everyone. Nobody is gonna have the exact same squat stance because nobody has the exact same hip structure or the exact same mobility. So you wanna play around with different foot positions. So start with your feet angled forward, then turn them out slightly, then slightly more, and just see which of those foot angles actually helps you feel the most at ease as you're dropping into that squat. With that said, whichever foot position that you choose you want to make sure that your knees can actually also track your toes. So you want to make sure that you don't flare out so much that your knees end up going forward and going inside your toes. That's going to put your knees in a really vulnerable position. It's going to become uncomfortable over time. But as you're descending into the squat, think about pressing your knees out and keeping them in line with your fourth and fifth toe. So as you get more comfortable with your stance and you're feeling a little bit better with your goblet squat, you can start to think about decreasing the box height so that you're increasing your range of motion. Over time, once you've really patterned that squat and you're getting comfortable, you can take that box completely away and just do a free goblet squat. Goblet squats are a great teaching tool to get somebody comfortable with that squatting pattern, but they can also be a really good accessory to a more advanced lifter who's working on back squats or working on front squats. And outside of just adding weight and making them heavier, there are different ways that you can go about modifying the goblet squat to make them more challenging. So one way to do that is to slow down the e portion, which is the lowering down portion. This helps you to build control and also just makes it a lot more difficult as you're going through the squatting motion. Another variation is an isometric hold at the bottom. So lowering down and holding that bottom position for about five seconds and then coming up out of the squat in a normal speed. And one more variation that we love is the one and a half squat where you go all the way down, come halfway up and pause, go back down and then come all the way up to standing. So these are some variations you can use once you've really mastered the goblet squat and you've moved on to other squatting variations, but you still want to come back to the basics every once in a while and play around with the goblet squat. I hope these tips helped you out. If you like this video, hit that little thumbs up button below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace, love, and muscles.